Hello and welcome to Super Rich Daily. To meet the demand of increasing population, many countries are starting renewable energy initiatives on a large scale. In this video, we'll go over some of the biggest energy mega projects. Butler Solar Park A 2.25 gigawatt solar complex is being built at Badlaha Hamlet in Rajasthan's Jodhpur district. The project is being developed in four phases, with the first two being developed by Rajasthan Solar Park Development Company Limited, the third by Saurya Urja Company of Rajasthan, and the fourth by Adani Renewable Energy Park Rajasthan. The project is expected to cost $1.4 billion in total. Construction on the solar park began in July 2015, and the first phase was completed in October three years later. The Bandla Park is spread out over 10,000 acres in a region noted for its medieval forts and temples. The park itself, however, is located away from any tourist attractions. With temperatures hovering around 115 degrees Fahrenheit, the climate is extremely dry. Dust storms and severe winds happen on a regular basis, and only a few people prefer to live in the area. The district headquarters, Palodi, is 50 miles away, an hour and a half by car, and has a population of just under 50,000 people. This is as desolate as deserts go. Because of the unyieldingly scorching sun and the lack of people, the area is ideal for solar. These types of farms, as one might expect, are mostly found in the world's largest deserts, where intense sunlight is plentiful and housing is scarce. Around 30 badla style solar parks are currently under construction in India in an effort to both increase electricity supply, around 20 percent of the country still lacks access and meet ever-increasing demand as the Indian economy continues to grow. The country plans to produce 40 percent of its energy from renewable sources by 2032. Hornsea Offshore Wind Farms As you probably may already know, this technology is not new. Hornsea Project 1 is an offshore wind farm in the Hornsea zone of the Southern North Sea off the coast of Yorkshire. The project, which is located in the UK's Humber region, is part of a $8.7 billion effort to transform the area into a renewable energy powerhouse. It is the world's largest offshore farm with 1.2 gigawatts of capacity and the first one to have more than 1 gigawatts of potential. The project generated its first power in February 2019 after a final investment decision was made in February three years earlier. The project was finished in the second half of 2020 after the final turbine was placed in October 2019. It covers 407 square kilometers and has 174 Siemens turbines with a capacity of 7 megawatts apiece. The turbines stand 190 meters tall with a rotor diameter of 178 meters and a blade tip height of 200. A single revolution of one of the turbines, according to the developers, can power an average home for an entire day. And this isn't the most fascinating part about the project. It also includes the world's longest high-voltage AC offshore wind outsource cable system, with over 900 kilometers of cables connecting the generators to the shore and the national grid. The development site includes favorable sea depths ranging from 20 to 40 meters, as well as favorable wind and terrain characteristics. It is a large-scale project that aims to provide clean electricity to 1 million homes in the UK. Ivopar Solar Plant the 377 megawatt Ivanpah photovoltaic solar generating system is the world's largest solar thermal facility, located in the Mojave Desert in Southern California. Google, NRG, and Bright Source Energy collaborated to build Ivanpah, which generates enough clean renewable energy to power 140,000 homes. The facility has roughly doubled the amount of industrial solar thermal energy produced in the United States at the time. The overall cost of the project was $2.2 billion. The 352,000 mirrors at the Ivanpah plant direct heat from the sun onto three boilers set on towers that are each taller than a football field. Water is converted to steam inside these boilers, which subsequently powers turbines to generate energy. Since the plant's opening in 2014, critics have claimed that the technology is antiquated and difficult to maintain. Also, a small fire was reported on May 19, 2016, when misaligned reflectors reflected sunlight onto a level of the Unit 3 tower that was not designed to gather energy, forcing the tower to be shut down for repairs. Three Gorges Dam Hydroelectric Plant The Three Gorges Dam is the world's largest hydropower project. When construction began in 1994, it was intended to not only create power to fuel China's rapid economic expansion, but also to regulate the country's longest river, protect millions of people from deadly floods, and serve as a symbol of scientific superiority. But things haven't quite gone as planned. Minimal hydroelectric power generation began in 2003 and rapidly increased as more turbine generators were added throughout the years until all 33 units at the dam were operational in 2012. 
These units, combined with two additional generators, gave the dam a total capacity of 22,500 megawatts, making it the world's most productive hydroelectric dam. The Three Gorges spans 2,335 meters and reaches a height of 185. Its design includes 28 million cubic meters of concrete and 463,000 metric tons of steel. The entire project cost $28.6 billion, took nearly two decades to complete, and displaced over a million people along the Yangtze River. The project's critics began as soon as the concepts were presented and continued throughout its development. The threat of dam failure, the displaced 1.3 million people living in more than 1,500 cities, villages and communities along the river, and the devastation of stunning scenery and many important architectural and archaeological treasures were among the major issues. There were also concerns, some of which were realized, that household and industrial trash from cities would contaminate the reservoir and that the massive amount of water held back by the dam would cause earthquakes and landslides. There you have it for today. I hope you enjoyed watching, and if so, then give this video a thumbs up and ring the notification bell button for our latest super rich updates. I'll see you next time.